This time we'll analyze the terrain from our survey file data tutorial. Please move to the Terrain tab in Helios palette. Here you can select a terrain, area or field for the different types of analysis. The settings and configuration work equivalent for height, slope and direction analysis, so we will demonstrate this once in performing a slope analysis. In the first row of buttons you can use a configuration from an existing profile, save the current configuration as a new profile or overwrite an existing one, or you can manage an existing profile. For that you can select it and afterwards rename it, delete it or set it as global default. The configure button opens the dialog for color scheme configuration. All changes done to this configuration will immediately be displayed in this preview. First you can select between relative and absolute usage range. The option relative range splits the color gradient between the minimum and maximum values of the DTM, whereas the option absolute enables the fields for entering a start and an end value for range. The Use Current Values button reads the currently used values from the drawing and writes them into the corresponding fields. Here we use an absolute range from 0 to 30 degrees. In mid-column the base colors and subdivisions can be managed. In the base colors frame you can edit the quantity and order of the base colors as well as the color U itself. For editing a color, please click it and select the color of your choice. Another function we want to point out comes up when you right click a color field. Then you can copy the color of this field or replace it by an already copied one. We'll set the number of base colors back to 3. The subdivision can be controlled by the quantity or step width. The option quantity calculates the step width and interpolates the base colors between the given number of steps. The option step width calculates the quantity of steps and allows to define fixed values for step range. Here we use a fixed step width of two degrees. Now we close this dialog and the new configuration appears in the color configuration list. You can use this list to assign fixed color use to one or more height ranges. You can use that function to create hard borders. As an example we now create a hard border at the value of 24 degrees. For that we we'll click on the color field and select the color red. Determined by the system, you have to first select the dialog and afterwards select the color. So the color will be displayed in this field. Only in this case the change will proceed after closing the dialog with OK. Another opportunity is to double click the color field. In this case, you can directly click on the color and close the dialog with OK. As you can see in the preview, all ranges with values above 24 degrees are colored in red. Now we save this profile as a new one and name it Demo Configuration. To run the slope analysis, we push apply. When the calculation has been finished, the results are immediately displayed in the drawing. To suppress the current analysis, just push hide. You have to return to the drawing frame with your mouse for the view to get refreshed. Now you can try other analysis until you have all pieces of information you need before proceeding with the next steps of planning.